Hi all, welcome to Homeschooling with Hera. Hope everyone is well. In today's video, I'm going to share with you another multi-sensory technique that you can use with your struggling students or your own children if you are homeschooling to help them with decoding words and storing them up in their long-term memory. This technique is called orthographic mapping and today's video is all about this. So if you are interested to learn this tactile exercise to teach your children or your student, be with me till the end of the video. Before I move any further, let me tell you that this channel is for you. If you are interested in English grammar, English phonics, English spelling rules, and above all, if you want to teach all this stuff in a multi-sensory way, in a non-traditional way to your little ones. So come on, this is the time to hit the like button, the subscribe button and also turn on the bell notification. So whenever I upload a video, you will be notified. And now let's dive in. Let me start with a little insight on orthographic mapping that what is this and how does it work? As we all know that spoken language comes long before reading or writing, right? So in orthographic mapping, we are decoding our pronunciation of words into sounds. We say a word, we try to segment it on our fingertips, then we use some objects to identify individual sounds. These techniques are to improve the focus of children onto each sound. And after deciding the right sounds, we need to write the right grapheme in the boxes. Then again, we need to blend them, say the word in flow, and you have got your word. You have decoded a spoken word to its spelling. You can use orthographic maps for non-tricky words as well as for tricky words or sight words. So come on, let's move on and I'll show you a demonstration that how would you work on these maps with your children. So here you go. I have kept this paper into a plastic uh, cover like this. It is better if you get it laminated so you don't need to print lots of papers. And you can get this one from my website Homeschooling with Hera. I will share the link in the description box. You can get it for free. Just download it and you can start working with it. So first of all, you need to say a word. For example, the word is cat. Say the word as I have written it over here. Say the word. The word is cat. Tap it. Finger tap the word to sound it out. Okay. K -a -t cat. It has three sounds. Do it with your students. K -a -t Cat, cat has three sounds. Now the second thing is this, that you have to place some counters for each sound. K, A, T, cat. Next, we have to graph it. Graph means we have to put the right grapheme in the boxes. Graphemes means letters. So for K, what is the letter for the sound K? It's here. A, k, a, k, a, t, t. Let's write t. Blend the word slowly. K, a, t, k, a, t, cat. Say it faster. Cat. Now, once again, the child has to write it here. A, T, cat. You can do this exercise every day for five to 10 words. And if you think that your child is good enough in three letter words, you can also move on to the next part of this. This multiple sounds. Now I have drawn here five circles. You will also get the worksheet for six circles. And you also need to make the children realize that it is not necessary that if we have five circles, so all the circles will be filled. If we have three sounds in a word, even then we can use this worksheet. Let's have a quick example for this. Here you go. Okay, we need to first of all say the word. The word is fish. 
fish. Tap it with finger. Fish. 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 It has three sounds. Fish. Fish. Now we have to map it. Let's put the counters in the circles. The first one is f. Here you go. Then e. Then sh. Sh. E. Sh. Fish. Now it's time to graph it. What is the first sound? It's f. How do we write it? Okay, then the second sound is f e. We have to write i here. F e sh. How do we write sh sound? Is it a single letter or a double letter sound? Yes, it's a double letter sound, and we write it like this. If the sound is only one, no matter, it is a double letter or three letter sound. You need to write it in a box, right? So now read the word fish. Fish. Say it fast. Fish. Write it over here. Fish. Fish. This is how you can make your children practice any new word or even some tricky words. For example, if the word is wash, wa a sh, wash, wa a sh wash it is a sight word okay or a tricky word so we need to first map it wa a sh wash right now how would we write it the first sound is wa then a but in place of a we need to write a and let's draw a little heart over here that this is a heart word or a tricky word. Okay. Or even you can make a star over here or a funny face that this letter is tricking us. It is not saying its own sound. After W short A will say A. Wa, A, SH. Again, SH for SH sound. Now read the word. Wash. Say it faster. Wash. Write it again. Wash. Here you go. So that's how by practicing on orthographic maps, you can help your children memorize so many words in a multi-sensory way and they will surely be in their long-term memory and will help them to become fluent reader and independent writers. That's all for today's video. I hope you have got something useful from it. If yes, so please hit the like button. I shall see you soon with something new. Take care. Bye for now. And don't forget to make it a great day. Bye.